Hakuna Matata. What a wonderful phrase. Hakuna Matata. Ain't no peasant craze. It means no worries for the rest of your days. It's our problem free philosophy. Hakuna Matata. Hakuna Matata? Yeah, it's our motto. What's the motto? Nothing. What's the motto with you? <laughs> <laughs> you know, kid, these two words will solve all your problems. That's right. Take Pumba, for example. Why? When he was a young warthog. When I was a young warthog. Very nice. Thanks. He found his aroma like a certain appeal. He could clear the savannah after every meal. I'm a sensitive soul, though I seem thick-skinned. And it hurt that my friends never stood downwind. And oh, the shame. He was a shame. What a change in my name. Oh, what's in a name? And I got downhearted. How did you feel? Every time that I... Hey, Pumper, not in front of the kids. Oh, sorry. Hakuna Matata. What a wonderful phrase. Hakuna Matata. Ain't no passing phrase. Welcome to our humble home. You live here? We live wherever we want. Yup, home is where your rump rests. <laughs> it's beautiful. Ugh. I'm starved. I'm so hungry I could eat a whole zebra. Ah, we're fresh out of zebra. Any antelope? Nuh-uh. Hippo? Nope. Listen, kid, if you live with us, you have to eat like us. Hey, this looks like a good spot to rustle up some grub. Ew, what's that? A grub. What's it look like? Ew, gross. Mm. Tastes like chicken. Slimy yet satisfying. These are rare delicacies. Mm. Mm. Pecans with a very pleasant crunch. You're learning to love them. I'm telling you, Kev, this is the great life. No rules, no responsibilities. Ooh, the little cream filled kind. And best of all, no worries. Well, kid? Oh, well, Hakuna Matata. Slimy, it's satisfying. That's it.
60 seconds from the shot caller question of the day. It's Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning. And a new study just came out. And I think it's going to make a few people in this room very, very happy. Okay, cool. Ooh, okay. Yay, I love being happy. Because the results <laughs> say it might be a good idea to yeah. eat chocolate for breakfast. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. I do like this. Is that why you're coming over? Because I'm going to hug you. I'm going to hug you. So the study especially looked at the effects in older women. (laughs) Oh, 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 I don't want to hug you anymore. (laughs) Why are you next to me? Why you at Brooke's night? I hate you. I'm stretching my legs. (laughs) Go away. Go away. We're not talking about like a tiny bite. Stop it. Stop it. You're very unprofessional right now. Brooke, we can't hear him. These older women. They had to Don't eat look at, me. at least 100 Don't. grams of chocolate every single morning. I feel attacked! Which is more than two Go. full-size you're Hershey bars, now, if you're wondering. <laughs> this is useful information to know, I'm just saying. Why are you I'm talking so, so I'm closely. grateful for this information, Jeff. <laughs> so the women in this study, they did this for two straight weeks. 100 yeah. grams of chocolate wow. every morning, and they you. didn't gain Brooke, a single ounce yeah. of weight. Yeah. Brooke, Did you hear that, Brooke? Weight. They didn't gain any weight eating 100 grams Whoa. of chocolate every you morning. Whoa. I'm just saying. Oh, oh, don't bring up weight. Oh, no. no, I'm just saying. Isn't that an interesting study? Why are you next to me? Why are you bending down and looking at me? Because Go to your own mic. Uh, you're you have a mic around. across the room. I, I thought you'd be interested <laughs> in science. I don't like it at all. This is science, Brooke. <laughs> Actually, you. these women ended up eating less throughout the day because no. eating chocolate in the morning makes you feel fuller. Oh. So that's really interesting, huh? Oh, yeah, it could be a lifestyle me. change yeah. for someone oh. in this room. Not me. Anyway. No. I am young. Now that we have that done, get out of here. Let's go. get to the. Go get oh, out of here. Okay, go <laughs> into your mic. Okay, let's get into ah. the shot caller ah. question ah. of the day. How dare you? Sponsored yeah, by Cadbury no. Chocolate Eggs. Yeah. If you're gonna have eggs for breakfast. Make them chocolate eggs. You just ruined with chocolate for me. You were right. The whole room's happy. I'm so happy now. <laughs> Shut it. Bucket full of names are going to draw one out. See who gets asked the trivia question. If you give the wrong answer, the punishment is to be shocked that, while singing a song. That name better be Jeffrey that you just picked. Text into 78592. Tell us which one you'd like to hear. Jose is drawing a name up because he had the shot caller last. Shock him. Shock him. Who'd you get? No! Kiss my axe. Like the two old oh. fox. Oh. Oh, the wow. world hates me oh, today. Insult the injury. Come on, Brooke, you should be happy. You can eat chocolate. You're an older yes. woman. Oh, I was right. born in the 80s. Brooke, Brooke's exactly. putting on the shot collar while that happens. <laughs> exactly. Digital Jake, please read us the shot collar question of the day. Well, it's funny that Jeff talked about chocolate because National Milk Chocolate Day is coming up. Okay. So to celebrate, I'm going to give you four chocolate fun facts, and you have to tell me if they're true or if they're false. Ooh, cool. All four could be factual, or it's possible all four are made up, or a mixture of something in between. Sweet. Are you ready? Oh, sweet. See what I did there? Uh, I, I didn't get it, but yeah. I got Not a clear. joking matter. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. During the Civil War, soldiers who fought for freedom were paid in chocolate because it was one of the only things that wouldn't spoil when they were out in the battlefield. Is that true or false? I think that's uh, true. Wouldn't it melt? I know. Yeah, that's, but, but it doesn't spoil. You can still eat it. Uh, yeah. And I huh. do know that later, like, M&Ms were sent to military members um, as a snack so they could get calories and sugar while they're out in the battlefield. And there was a lot of and, volunteering yeah, when and, it came to... Mm-hmm. And uh, they, had, they had a candy-coated shell. Okay, I'm going to go yeah. true. Moving on. In 18th century France, high-profile prisoners who were set to be executed were given the option of how they preferred to be killed. Among their options were the guillotine, a firing squad, or nice. death by chocolate, <laughs> where they were drowned in a vat of liquid chocolate. Is no that true way. or false? Oh my God. No way that's true. I hope that's true. <laughs> that's but what if go. that's where the saying, like, death by chocolate, I mean, you hear that a lot, right? That's so it has right. to have origins somewhere. I kind of have heard it. The, Unless and Jake the French just made are, it up. are very big on their, like, culinary <laughs> exploits. Maybe one of Can the you? things is, like, Killing people. They're with like Pierre. Let us kill him with his chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> so evil. It's just so hard to believe yeah. that that'd be an option. I mean, it almost sounds like a nice hey. way to go. And and chocolate was so expensive, and it still yeah. is. Yeah, I'm gonna go how false. Expensive that would be. Mm-hmm. All right. During World War II, the Nazis came up with an elaborate plot to assassinate British Prime Minister Winston Churchill, boo. and their plan was to send him a chocolate-covered bomb. Is that true or false? Did you boo oh. Winston Churchill? <laughs> no, I booed the Nazis. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> Sound like he was I'm, on the, I'm on the right team, I promise. Are you sure? 
<laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to go true on that one. I, I like that. It seems like something well, you'd see in a movie. But you know? a bomb? You don't I think, think poison? I think it's a chocolate poison. Remember, he said it could be a mix of true and false facts. Oh, so they were going to send him chocolate covered poison and chocolate, but he's saying bomb to throw you off. And that's because what? Winston Churchill was heavy set? Oh, yeah. He's a chubby. He's a yeah. big boy. <laughs> I think all the kings and important people were fat. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> they were the ones that could afford to eat. That uh, Churchill movie was so good, though. Did you guys see it? Never seen oh, it. Okay, put it on your yeah, list. It was so, on, no, it's so good. Back to the chocolate. I'm gonna go true. I'm gonna say true still. Okay. Final fact: the Girl Scouts have been widely credited with inventing the recipe for the s'more, but historical oh. data suggests the very first s'more was actually created by Abraham Lincoln. No it was a way. delicacy that he had the White House chefs prepare for him before big speeches. Is that true or false? <laughs> so wait, Lincoln, the girls... get, Lincoln getting up on stage with with a big like chocolate smudge across his mouth. That like... wasn't a beard. That's just chocolate. <laughs> Four score and seven Hershey bars ago. <laughs> I'm going to go false. I mean, I would hope that the Girl Scouts wouldn't steal Lincoln's <laughs> s'more thunder. Oh, I like that one. I thought it was true. I gave you four potential facts today. about chocolate, and you had to tell me if they were true or false. During the Civil War, soldiers being paid in chocolate, you said that was true, and it was true. Yeah! Oh. French prisoners being given the option of being drowned by chocolate for their executions, you said that was false. And it was false. Yes! Okay. Oh, dang. Nazis once planned to send a chocolate-covered bomb to Winston Churchill. You said that was true, and it was true. Yeah! Oh! Okay. And finally, Abraham Lincoln was rumored to have created the first ever s'more in the White House kitchen. You said that was false, and it was false. Oh! Victory! Four Let's for go! four. Yeah! Good job, Brooke. Right. That means Digital Jake has to take the shock today. That's right. And somebody wanted to hear the song Chocolate Rain by Tay (laughs) Zonda. Oh, yeah, that was a viral hit. Chocolate rain. (laughs) The school books say it can't be here again. Chocolate rain. (laughs) The prisons make you wonder where it went. Chocolate rain. (laughs) The show is over, but you can hear it all again in podcast form. Just go to Spotify. Search Brooke and Jeffrey. Okay.